Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I spent the day with Emily. So that meant it took me a long time to answer my comments. I started them in the morning and then I took a break because she was over and she wanted me to watch a movie. So I watched the movie and the movie was very good. I don't remember the name, but I will put it in the in the more section so you can find it. It is on YouTube, so it's a YouTube movie. So you'll be able to see it. It was a very, very good movie, and it was a tearjerker, a little bit of a tearjerker, but it was it was good. It was it had a lot of lessons in it. So that I will put in the more section. Then I went back to answering my comments after the movie, and um, we had eggs tonight. My chickens gave me six eggs. And I said, I guess we're definitely eating eggs tonight. So we had eggs. I did put some hash browns in the eggs. So that was my carbs for the day. It was actually my only meal. Because I, I said to Emily, I said, gosh, I'm getting hungry. And I looked at the clock and it was already quarter after five. I says, no wonder I'm hungry. It's quarter after five. So I ate my eggs. I had four eggs. And I put some hash browns in it. And I cooked it with coconut oil. And she had three eggs and some hash brown. And then Jim came in, and I said, I'm all done eating. <laughs> and I said, do you want some eggs? So he had eggs. How many did you have? Four? Four. Four eggs. But he put cheese on his. And it was a uh, sharp cheddar cheese mm. is what he used. And that's what we had for supper. And that was his, I believe, only meal also mm -hmm. for today. We just weren't hungry. The temperature has risen again. It is warm out. In fact, I've got my sleeves pulled up. I probably should pull them down a little bit because the, these have an elastic in the in part of the sleeve and the elastic actually shows. See the elastic? <laughs> I'll cover it up. And it's it's on the, it, what it is is they've got like little gatherings on the sleeve. These are three quarter length sleeves, which is a good sleeve to wear when it's kind of on the warm side. I went out and saw the chickens earlier, and then I stood there a little bit later when Jim was, his eggs was cooking, eggs were cooking, and I thought, oh, I better go in before the smoke detector goes off, because it went off a couple times when I was cooking my eggs. But I went out to see what the, the babies were doing, and there was the mamas watching the babies, and the other hens were all out in the grass, but when they see me, they start, to, they come all, they come, they think I'm going to bring them some food or something. But I was just standing there watching, and I watched to see how everybody was treating everybody, and they were all treating everybody fine. And today I tried to figure out how many, I thought, how many chickens do I have? So I wrote it down, and I think I figured it out to be, I think I've got, including the rooster, I think I've got 22 altogether. That's the new babies included in that. I still don't know if I've got it right because I have to really check again. I think I kept three from Dorothy and two from Emma. And then I have the two black, the two brown, the Isumani, Asumani, Isumani, however you say it. And I have a little black one that looks like an Isumani, but that's one of Emma's but I counted it as one of the Isomani's because it is more like, looks like her, except it's got, its mouth is pink inside, so it's not a true blue. And I don't, and my girl that I call that, she's not true blue either because she's got two white toenails. So they have to be completely black, even in their mouths, have to be black. I and mean, I haven't looked in her mouth, but I did notice she's got two white toenails, one on each foot. I also was monkeying around, well, playing with yarn. This is that yarn that got bleached out by the sun. And what it was is I was trying to figure out, so I could show those that are trying to figure out how to keep this line straight. Because they find that when they're crocheting, it either gets wider or narrower because they, they either gain or lose stitches. And so I was trying to, this has got double and single crochets in it. Because I was trying to figure out, because I do it automatic, and it was like, what do, what am I doing that I need to tell them? Because it's so automatic when you're doing it, it's just, it just comes second nature. It's like when you're, 
when you're writing something and you had to tell somebody how to do it, you just do it. You don't know what you're doing. And then when you go to show, it's like um, you forget how to form a B or a D or an F or an I or silly letters that you maybe know how to do because you just do it automatic. But anyways, I was trying to figure out how you turn around for them if you single crochet. And what I found out, what well, what I paid attention to was when I single crochet, I chain once. No, I chain twice, sorry. I chain two times. And then I go into the one that's right there, the first where the chain came out of, and I single crochet. I believe that's what I did. Or did I chain one? I forgot now what I do. I'd have to do it. Um, never mind about this. Let me Let me figure it out again. I think I chained twice for the double. Once for the single, yes. Once for the single, chain one. So you've got your, you're at your end of your row. I chained one and I went directly into the first one that is there and I, and I single crocheted across. And you know, I count a lot when I'm doing things. I, I will count to make sure that I um, have the right number. And you know, when you have, like this is only 10 st stitches. I put it over. I don't, oh, I don't want to put it over. I'm single crocheting. Um, this is 10 stitches, so it's easy to count the 10, but if you had, say you had 170 stitches or something you're making that's really big, they have those stitch markers. You could count out like 20 or 10, whatever you want, and put a stitch marker. So when you get to the end, you know that what you have left should be the total number, because if you count your 10, 20, 30, 40, or 20, 40, 60, 80, whatever, count by twos or mm -hmm. ones, you'll know whether you've got the number of stitches or not. So, and when I double crochet, this is single crochet, so I chained one with the single crochet, and I will count to make sure I have ten stitches, because that's what I should have. I should have ten when I get done. And the way you count your stitches, you look at the top, you look at the top of the, um, where it looks like a looks like kind of like a this <laughs> it's what it looks like and you count them you got one two three four five six seven eight nine I got ten I did it right Woo I love it when I do things right and then now for the double crochet I will chain twice so I'll do two chains one two I'm gonna skip this first one and I'm going to go into the next one, the second one. So you want to just skip, whoops, I got to put this yarn over now. Now I'm double crocheting. So you put the yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And there, and I, when I get to the end, I should have 10, 10 still. We'll make sure. I'll just do it real fast and see if I have 10. I could be doing my dancing video with this one. Mm -hmm. um, Pamela, my, uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet, she did a, a dance con dance challenge where she had to crochet and dance at the same time. And it was she was going to tag me, but she thought I didn't like tags. Well, I actually, I do like tags. Sometimes it gives me something to talk about when I really have nothing. And that would have been a fun tag to do. So I probably will maybe do that tag just the same. Okay, now when I get to the end, oops, I gotta put it over, and I will count in a minute to make sure I have 10. I gotta put it through there. That's the last stitch. Now I will count again. Now this row was double crocheted, so the chain counts as one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 10. So that's how you do it. If you're gonna double crochet, you chain twice. If you're single crocheting, you chain once. Okay, now with the double crochet, you chain two, but you skip the little first stitch and go into the next one. And if you single crochet, you don't skip any. You just go right directly back into the other, that stitch that your chain came out of, pretty much. And that's how you do it. I hope that's con not confusing. As you notice, I hold mine different. I don't hold mine like everybody else. And even when I make a slip knot, 
I do a slip knot different. I can show you that too since I've got I just I would take the 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 yarn and I just I crochet over whoops wait a minute which way do I go? See it's it's um I go over I go over, bring it behind and I go over and pull it through and I've got this slip knot. I don't know how the other people do it. They do it different. But this is my slip knot. See it slips. Ooh, doot, doot, doot. It's slip knot. And you can pull it out. But that's how I do it. I put the yarn over top of the needle, pretend I'm crocheting, and I pull it through and I've got a slip knot. So easy and Jim's falling asleep. <laughs> I'm not falling asleep. Your just... Nat is nodding. He's like, <clears throat> I'm boring him to death. So hopefully no, I didn't I'm... bore you guys to death. He's not really into this, I don't think. Not was... crochet. No, but I, I am. I love the crochet community. I'm learning so much, and I really, this is something that I enjoy doing. My daughter was here, and she was saying that she hasn't gotten past the chain. She says she used to crochet, but she says it's been so many years that she says, I know how to make a good chain. And I says, well, then if you've got the chain, you've got half the battle done because the chain, you want to keep the chain nice and flat when you're working. And then you do the rest is so easy once you, it's just a bunch of knots. And so like Boy Scouts could do this. At least they should do it. Well, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye-bye.